Okay, I'm going to show you how to factorise these expressions using the grid method. First of all, you'll notice there's only two terms, so we don't need the bigger noughts and crosses grid. We just need the small grid, um, and we put the expression inside, so 5x squared and 3x. Now, we're looking for something that's in both expressions, both terms. So either the times table they're both in, 3 and 5 aren't in the same times table, or the letter that's in both of them in this case. It's the letter, so we take the x outside. Now, x multiplied by what gives you 5x squared? Well, first of all, we'll need a 5, because there's no 5 there, and we'll need another x to make the x squared. Now, x multiplied by what makes 3x? All we need there is a 3. Now, we can't leave the answer like that. This is just our working out. Notice it's a plus in between the two expressions here. So the final answer is x bracket 5x plus 3. Now we can use the same method for this question down here. Draw the grid, put the terms inside. Now this time there's only an a in this term, so we're looking for a times table that 8 and 12 are both in, and we're looking for the biggest times table they're both in. In this case it is the 4 times table. So 4 multiplied by what gives you 8a squared, that would be 2a squared, and 4 multiplied by what gives you negative 12, that would be negative 3. So the final answer would be 4 bracket 2a squared minus 3.